Okay, we'll catch up with Paul Bird now, the owner of PBM Beweiser Ducati. It's always nice to see you at Not Kill Racing Circuit. Unfortunately, we're on a little bit of a rain delay just now. The guys are in the garage. We want to talk to you about the, the signing of Andrew Irwin because it's quite an interesting one. It's raised a lot of eyebrows in the paddock today. Uh, Glenn seems very happy with his new teammate. But how did it all come about? Well, after Shane picking the injury up, obviously we needed a replacement rider for the rest of the year. And so, obviously looking at, we've got to look at the youth coming through and all the guys always come through from the smaller classes. So, we're looking at guys who were who knew the circuits, you know, we've got to come to places like Knock Hill, which is unique, Thruxton, which is unique, Cadwell Park, which is even more unique. So obviously the the thoughts had to go with somebody who knew all the circuits and he was one of the two or three guys that came in came up in Mao Martins and talked it through with boys in the team and thought it was a pretty logical choice. Obviously, if you've got Glenn, now the, the emphasis must go towards Glenn for getting him into the showdown, but, you know, to keep him happy, was was that anything to do with signing Andrew to kind of try and, you know, keep a, a bit of harmony there? No, not really. You know, he, it, it, it's just fallen into place, you know. Andrew's a great, you've watched him in British Super Sport the last couple of years and how much he's come on and how hungry he is. He's not, he's not shy at putting it in there in the, mm. towards the end of a race. Um, probably... Um, still learning and you know we can help him do that with nine races left this season so we look at, we'll have to look at how we can progress this year and look at for next year we need to ask you about shaky you know um first of all we see he's out of hospital he's back home recovering when did you last uh, grab a word with him um well not really too much cause i've had to been away on holiday been away rallying on the other side of the world so but obviously the guys have been keeping me in touch i've had a couple of messages back and forwards but yeah not really too much but um I'm sure he's been in great hands and hopefully he's going to have a speedy recovery. So you go from this Knock Hill test, then you're down to Snetterton, then obviously back up into Scotland to Knock Hill. And the Knock Hill round, you say, it's always an important round for you guys. You know, you always like to come here and perform. Is it a track that you see, Glenn? Obviously last year was a disaster for him. He had that nasty injury he picked up here. Is it a track you see him and Andrew going pretty well at? Yeah, I think so. It's a track that's always served us well as a team. We've had great results here for over the years and as it been a northern based team we want to perform well in the north so it's been a great circuit the Ducati works quite well here so you know I was keen to come here it's great and the fans are fantastic when they get into Scotland yeah very passionate crowd here and I want to ask you about your rally now as well though because I have seen you in Barbados I do follow you on Twitter and that and uh, you just showed my video clip there you know you're up against some hard hitting cars that they're enjoying the rallying again yeah, definitely, but it's been difficult. I've had three rallies in three weekends, so I could do with a bit of time off, to be honest. I had to sacrifice going to watch my son race in Monaco, which was a big choice, but I still love driving, leading the British Championship, so still life in the old dog, yeah. And you're a bit of a music fan as well. You were racing Ed Sheeran last night. You weren't really meant to say that. I was actually forced into going to Ed Sheeran last night, or it was instant divorce. I don't know, I saw you coming in with Ed Sheeran bag and scarf today. Listen, it's been great catching up with you. Uh, we'll hopefully get the, get the guys after they've been out there on the new Knock Hill track surface as well. And as ever, thanks for bringing us and saying this lovely truck. You must not listen to him about Ed Sheeran because it's definitely not true. <laughs> it's all true, it's Ed Sheeran. <laughs>